Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining me for some Lies of P. I'm super excited to check this one out. Um, I very much enjoyed the demo, what I played of it at least. Um, it was a bit challenging for me at that point, but I've heard that they've definitely polished some things, and I'm excited to see how the combat feels, and hopefully we are able to get to some of the story, because it seems very intriguing. I can't wait. Well, here goes. Let's see what happens in this game. Um... Like I said, we played a little bit of the demo. We didn't fully finish it, but we, we played a good bit of it. And I don't know much about the story of this besides what I've seen in like the trailer and all, and it looked great. Thank you so much, NeoWiz, for giving me a key, letting me try out this game. I This is one that we've had our eye on for a while, so it's really exciting uh, to be able to play it. So, well, let's get started. The death counter on? Ooh. Well, we could, we could, we could, we could make that a thing. Probably need to reset the R.I.P. counter. It's been a moment since we've done that. <laughs> Carlo Calati. Can you hear me? Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. I remember this cutscene. This was a while ago we watched this. Remember when I played the demo, I got a lot of comments like, why is Timothy Chalamet in Bloodborne? I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> it's own thing, but very cool. <laughs> I'm assuming there's going to be some sweet fashion in this game too, which I always love. Fashion Souls is um, a vibe. And... Oh, there you are. I feel like it will be a thing. I've been looking all over for you. What? Who? Where? I don't know really how to do anything yet. Except walk. Try to press buttons to like run. Doesn't seem to be a thing yet. Jiminy! I see they got Jiminy too. But we have to hurry. My name is Sophia. Please come to Hotel Crot and I'll explain what's happening. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. Upper belt, lower belt, selected belt, item. Item and gestures. Hold down to activate the extra bag. Okay. All right. Also, we're playing with controller here. Let's get you out of there. Very pretty. Find something that might help. It's running great. I put all my settings on high, but then I bumped the textures back up to ultra. And we are getting a smooth 144. But the streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. Okay. Any recommendations? Is there something that may be considered, like, easier to work with? I generally, for Souls games, like to be fast. Because I feel like going fast is a good way to, like... I don't know, to get as many hits in as possible. Like, I was not one for the big damage slow weapons in general for these kind of games. So, based on that, what do we think? Strength is not my usual go-to for these games. Like, balanced, I think, is what we tried in the demo. So let's try this. All right, I feel like fast, right? We gotta go fast, speed. Here we go. Right, you, you, if you use the slow weapons, you get wrecked. I mean, it's like, it's hard. Those are tough. I don't know. Path of the Bastard. Dexterity. Sounds great. Let's go. Destination Hotel Court. Recommend escaping from this location.
Croc Central Station. All right, here goes. Do we have a sprint? Yes, we do. And we have a lock on. Nice. Okay, I like the speed. Maximum number of pulse cells. Okay, so that is our healing. Maximum number of times pulse cells can be used. When you reach the maximum, the cell will be discharged. If you attack enemies while the cell is discharged, the pulse cell will be gradually charged. So you can charge them back up. That's nice. So it's a little bit like Bloodborne in that sense, right? Like, okay, so dodge. How do I parry? Left bumper, most likely. Have to try that. You liked strength? That was pretty easy? Okay. Fair enough. Good to know that there are multiple viable options. Might as well go kill them all real quick. Perfect. I feel like strength is easier in Souls games. Hit hard once and get away. I mean, that's... Maybe I should try that more. I would just try to get in and get some hits and stuff, especially some of the weapons I've used like have like good stuns, so if I can just go stab them a bunch, my chance of stun is pretty high. I don't know. My shirt cleaned itself? Yeah, blue fairy magic. It's perks, you know? <laughs> you think the weapons are cool? Okay, I'm excited to see. You can block enemy attacks by guarding. It, okay, here's one question that I have about weapons. Is it is it kind of like Bloodborne where any weapon is viable until the end? Or is it more like Elden Ring where you probably want to upgrade at some point? I'm assuming more like Elden Ring would be my assumption, but I have no idea at this point. You can block enemy attacks by guarding. If your guard is su successful, your character will take reduced damage, but it will consume stamina. The reduced damage will be transferred to guard regain. Guard regain accumulates, but gradually decreases over time. We have that. You can attack enemies to recover HP. If a guard succeeds right before being hit, it triggers a perfect guard. When a perfect guard is successful, you will not receive damage. Only stamina is consumed. You will, can use perfect guards to destroy an enemy's weapon or put the enemy in staggerable status. Okay. Let's try that. I cannot see in the dark. Okay, I wanna I wanna try to guard. Hang on. Okay, well, that was not a perfect guard. I need to heal. There we go. Okay, I just turned off. Turn on. Perfect. I see that we can go through there. I'm not exactly sure which way I'm supposed to go yet. Um, what was in here? Gross. Oh. I saw you. Okay, so so far the starting area. Good. Let's see how the first boss feels. I've played so many Souls games lately where that first boss just kicks my butt. You guys remember the Wo Long Fallen Dynasty? I don't know how many of you guys have played that one, but uh, that first boss wrecked me. I was I was struggling with it for a while, and then I was like, "Whoa, I finally did it!" No, there's a phase two. <laughs> I struggled for long, but we got through it, and I was very proud, and it was very rewarding. So, okay. Looks like you just get close. You got a steam achievement from that. Nice. You better to learn weapon specifics. Okay. Yeah, what wrong with Pop? It very much was. I almost ended up beating it. We got like a good bit through. We got like more than halfway through and then 
ended up playing some other games, but maybe someday I'll go have to go back and finish that one. If anyone finds this note, get out of the station and run. So we have some different stuff. Huh, collectible. I, okay, be sure to steer clear of the waiting room. I saw a huge puppet smashing people to death in there. So if you read those, it has more information. Got it. Right? This game looks pretty fun so far. I, I'm having a good time. I'm like, okay, just don't hit me with crazy difficulty, and this will be a great time. You can hit me with the crazy difficulty, like, just give me a second first, which it seems it's going to. Okay, I need to learn the parry timing. No, that was too soon. Too late. We'll get it. we just go downstairs here? Let's find out. Oh yeah, Wolong did release a DLC, didn't it? I didn't play it. There are doors and ladders all throughout Krat that are locked by devices. You can unlock these doors or go down the ladders to create shortcuts. Okay. So... I don't think we have a key for that. Oh, we do have a key for that. Oh, because we can unlock it from this side. I see now. So this connects us back here. Got it. This is the one smashing people to death. All right, so this is our first, like, slightly more difficult enemy. Use Legion arm. Okay, got it. I didn't realize he was gonna do two. Uh oh, you'll. Uh oh. Hold for a charge attack. While you're attacking, a white outline will appear around the enemy's HP bar. When this happens, you can make the enemy staggered with a charge attack. Or with Fable Arts. Okay. There we go. Face a staggered enemy. Right bumper. There it is. Ooh. That was a close fight. We did it, though. Okay, let's grab that. Bioshock. I gotta, I gotta give those a try at some point. So what did we just get? We get, we got a key, right? What did we get? What are these? Sawtooth wheel, throwing object. Hmm. Ergo. Frame. Oh, parts that can enhance puppet frames. Move to equipment? Uh... If I go to, uh, like, our equipment... What does that mean? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Oh. Yeah. Oh. This is interesting. Then you'll have amulets. Weapons and legion arms. Cool. So let's figure out where we need to go. Uh, is it going to be back upstairs? I'm not sure it is. It might be. Probably going to be back through the main area. Maybe... 
door. Here we go. And we are out here. So I remember this area from the demo. Not very well, but I remember it. And yeah, I remember we can level up like once here or something. But we got to main, mainly level in the main area. Use the Stargazer for fully recovering HP and stamina, as well as charging your pulse cells. They'll be revived at this point in case of death. Remember, this process also revives enemies, not just your character. So, yeah. Let's use that. This is called a Stargazer. A marvelous device the Stalkers used in the past. Up at the threshold exceeds danger estimates. Please reduce positive numbers or we set danger parameters. As we are, we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment, gather ergo, clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger. But the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever, so be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. Okay, so what would we what would we like to level? Vitality? That sounds like health, right? Yeah, I feel like that is a great place to start. Oh no, horse! Rough place here. Goodness, Jason, welcome, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me for a uh, new game tonight. Blocking is not good so far. It's okay, we'll get it. Use Blade Fable Arts while guarding, use Handle Fable Arts. Okay. Let me try that in a moment here. What was The Krat's Grand Exhibition has been delayed. This decision was made to protect the citizens until the puppet frenzy that has recently paralyzed the city is under control. The occurrence began on Rosa Isabel Street, resulting in hundreds of casualties. While the cause is still unknown, the number of casualties and the scale of damage are both growing. As the crisis dragged on, the workshop and Veningi Company? Krat's largest puppet factory announced that they would offer emergency supplies to citizens and do everything they could to alleviate the situation. The task force is investigating the possibility of a fatal loss of the Grand Covenant, which is the control protocol of the workshop's puppets. However, there is no quick solution as of now with the puppet frenzy resulting in more casualties. As the city braces for a resurgence of the petrification disease, the citizens were advised to stay indoors for their safety. However, many citizens are trying to escape through Krat Central Station, intensifying the general chaos. Have we have we found the lie yet, right? The P-Lie? Mm-mm, not yet. Maybe soon. Oh. Some more of them over here. Okay, so let me try. Was I supposed to, like, hold it down for the weapon arts? I thought it was left trigger. Clearly it was not. Ooh, I tried to dodge that. Oh, yeah, you hold it down. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. Liking our speedy speed. Here's a belt item. Weapon durability. Huh. 
cool. How about up this way? Let us through here? Yes. No. We have to go around first. Dang. Let's try to figure out how to get over there. I'm not sure it's this way. But maybe this way. dogs in these games. Why is it always the dogs? Even now it's robot dogs? Like, oh no. Okay. Cool looking area. Like, I like the feel of the old boarded up shops and stuff. You know, the city that had to close up. I like it. Not panic, of course. Who would want to panic in a place like this? Yeah, just a glitch. Am I supposed to, like... Fury attack. Some enemies become red and use a strong attack called the fury attack. Can't dodge or guard these, but you can counter with a perfect guard. Oh. You can't even normally dodge them, you just have to parry them. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, I didn't do it, so it's okay. Let's just try to kill him before he does that again. Oh, gosh. Ah. There we go. No, not it. Nice. Nice. Okay, there we go. What's over here? Uh, let me go to the surface. We're getting the hang of it so far. Hey, bad timing. Welcome. The beginning is starting off nicely. Movement feels good. I feel like I should be using my like special attacks and things more. Like just like that. Pretty good. Nice. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna need some more stamina pretty soon here. We've got like a couple different ways to go. Oh, I was supposed to be able to go up and around and attack them. I see. Well, I guess we didn't need that. So we got that way. And first we've also got this way. Yeah, so this should let us through, right? No? It won't let us through, but it will give us that thing that we saw earlier. Hmm. Oh no, I missed. You gotta be closer for that. There we go. Okay. Yoshi, welcome. Yes, we are the puppeteering witch today. Hmm. We got some things down there, and we got up top. Bam. Fable Catalyst. Uh, I think that was it for that. Then we go up top here. Oh, 
didn't quite get the timing on that, but we blocked some damage. Yeah, you have to parry the red silhouette. That's a little bit tough, but we'll figure it out. Sounds like we're coming up on our first boss. So, okay, yeah, this is where I can practice parrying and everything. At least it gives us a stargazer here. Parrying is a bit tough from what you've heard. Okay. And there's some upgrades to things later, right? Well, I don't know too much yet, but we're getting there. That's like a good bit more attack. I'm gonna try that. Maybe I should do both stamina, but we'll see. That should be at least a little bit better. Hello there. Welcome to Krat, visitor. Hello. I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. You didn't hear? Figures. The stalkers. whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. Oh, I also didn't even notice Slender. You gifted a sub. Thank you. I Somehow that did not even process to me. Thank you. I thank you for gifting to choosing. Thank you for bringing your community on over here and uh, go take care of yourself and everything after after stream. Thank you again. And Semper, welcome on in. Good evening. Out here so, alone? Oh, a, a gift? Help. Here's a festival gift for you. Now get yourself something useful. That's nice. Okay, so what's he got? Throwing cell... And blade handles. So it looks like these are what? Like slightly better than what we've got in the beginning? This costs 300. That's not too much. Would we recommend getting one of these? Slash an enemy in front of you multiple times. Slash an enemy in front of you uses an extra fable slot to slash up to three more times. Stab an enemy in front of you multiple times. Stabby, stabby, stab. Is there like a good... I don't know. It sounds kind of good. I kind of want it. I don't know. Stab. Stabby, stab. Storm stab. That's our thing. That's where I'm supposed to go. Let me take a quick peek back here. What is this? Introducing the, what, the parade puppet? Here appears a terrific puppet that will enliven the parade. Introducing Parade Master, a remarkable parade puppet model from the workshop to celebrate the grand exhibition. Hello there, I am the Parade Master. I like singing and marching with people. The Parade Master has the following functions. 16 jolly songs, cheerful laughter and 54 parade phrases. Parade dances to delight children. The strength to carry six men on his shoulders. The Parade Master was made big in commemoration of the Grand Exhibition. Check out its charms on the eve of the upcoming exhibition. Hmm, can't wait, let's go see. Yeah, I did buy the same thing. It's good. <laughs> okay, I think we just got an autosave. Hooray! Are we ready? We know what this means. Here goes, here goes. Ooh, he's creepy. Okay. 
Oh, that goes sideways. Oh, I tried. Okay. I didn't fully get the timing on that. Nope, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I will get it. Oh, I didn't practice on the practice dummy thing. Oh, that was my mistake. I'm a fool. Oh, ouch. Okay, um... begins. <sighs> we need to learn parry timing, it seems. Don't we? Oh no. Well, that was a good first attempt. I'll take it. I'll take it. If you die in a boss battle, Death Ergo is created at the entrance. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go get it. Okay. Well, attempt number two. Here goes. A new hand touches the beat. Oh dear. Wait, I need Meridia's strength. Okay, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. I did it, I love it, oh my god. Amazing timing. I like how that was both of you guys. Thank you, Blender and DVD. Uh oh. There we go. Come on. Almost. Almost. No, I missed the parry. I missed it. Ah. I've got to get it. Got to get as much damage as I, as I can right here. I don't love the spin attack. I don't love that. I don't love that. Ow! Not immediately. Oh. Oh no. No, no, okay, that was better though. I, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. I just need to not like mess up. We, we got the da, or we got the parry. Now we gotta put the, the, whole, the whole business together. Yeah, the red attacks are the unblockable. Exactly. So, well, no. The red attacks are the ones that you have to perfect parry. You cannot just regular block them and you cannot dodge them. You have to perfect parry them. Okay, I'm just going back in. Thank you guys for the bits, by the way. There we go. Dang, I messed up the timing. Yes, that's it. Yes. You need stamina. Need 
more stamina. Dang it, I tried to dodge that. Don't die, just don't die. Thank you. happy with that. We got him. We are the parade master now. We are a puppet after all. <laughs> wow, I, okay, I, we, we did it. How do you guys feel about that first boss if you played? I felt like that was much more doable than in the demo. I felt like I, I don't know. I, I definitely had a harder time with that in the demo and I don't know if that's because I'm playing better tonight or if the game feels better. <laughs> Hard to say exactly, but. Hey, nice. Hotel Krat, the greatest luxury. What? Okay, give me a second to read. The greatest luxury you will ever experience. Treat yourself to an unforgettable day. One more thing I should mention. Oh, really? The hotel security excludes puppets like you. Oh, no. So you'll have to lie to get inside. You're a special puppet, after all. Okay. I can lie. Wait, what's this? I want to know what that is. Is there an enemy over here? Not as far as I can tell. There is a fragment. Sky, welcome. I'm enjoying the game a lot so far. It's going pretty good. Welcome to the sanctuary of the Grand Covenant. Prove your identity. Who are you? I am a human, obviously. Of course. Grand Covenant's fourth floor. A puppet cannot lie. Welcome to Hotel Krat. Puppets can't lie. Rings are reacting. So that's fun. I wonder what kind of an impact lying is going to have. Alright, did we get a bigger nose or something? <laughs> well, that's a cool looking tower. animations. Is that the ergo that's glowing blue? A lot of puppets. Giving us a little context. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, this is new. This is not 
on the demo. Music's going crazy. He is special. Interesting. Yeah, a little darker, huh? Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, they're really going into the the brutal destruction of the puppets there. And the blue butterfly lady. Hello. Well, fairy, I suppose. I'm so happy to see you. Hello. I am Sophia. I've been waiting for you. Searched all over the city of Croft to find you. You must have questions. Geppetto will have answers. But we have to find him first. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Croft is dangerous for humans. And that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. I'll explain more once you find him. Okay. Level up through Sophia. So we need to come back here every time we want to level up, I'm pretty sure. We should get some more stamina. And maybe health? Mm, I mean, stamina was more of an issue for us, so sure. Let's get that to 15 and then maybe we'll get our vitality up to 12 next is probably what we'll consider doing. Big stab. Look at Gemini. I think he's in shock. Gemini is fine. That's proof you're broken. The real Gemini isn't so calm. I'm no inventor, but perhaps I can fix him. Or perhaps he'll fix himself in time. Wait. Take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. This watch will guide you to a safe place. Be careful, clever one. Hmm. Moon phase pocket watch. Oh, interesting. Yeah, hey, Echo. I don't know if I'm really good at these games, but I... I don't know. I'm happy with our boss attempts today. We got through them in three ties. I I was a bit nervous about this. I admit it was like, I don't know how this is going to go. We were uh, on him for like a minute with the demo, but kicked his butt today. I love it. <laughs> I am the boss now, exactly. Or maybe this lady's the boss. I don't know. I'll use my power to help. Ergo oh, is ergo. the miracle that made Krat prosper. Without Ergo, there would be no automated puppets to make Krat wealthy. When you move, you tap into the power of Ergo mm -hmm. within you. Gather more Ergo. Mm -hmm. It will make you stronger. In the folklore of Krat, a cricket often acts as a guide. That is why these automated models became popular. But Gemini is unique. He's more than just a guy. Did you guys hear about how they're considering uh, as you get more familiar with Gemini, making an Alice in Wonderland I mean. kind of game like this? I would love that. Okay, so go talk, she said. Welcome to Hello. Hotel Crop. My name is Polandina, butler to Lady Antonia. Please let me know how I may be of service. At Hotel Crot. Comfort and calm walk hand in hand. Welcome to Hotel. Hmm. So previously I have played, I started out with Elden Ring as my first real Souls game attempt. And then, and then what did we try after Elden Ring? We tried, was it Woe Long after Elden Ring? I don't know. We've tried some of the other, like, newer Souls games, and then we started playing through Bloodborne. And I've mostly beaten Bloodborne's DLC, and I kind of got distracted, and I need to go back and finish that. So, that was like a month ago. 
I did beat Elden Ring, yes. It took me a moment to get, like, I, I was pretty completionist with that game. I was an astrologer mage. It was very fun. I have to go back and play that again. The Grand Covenant is a set of absolute commands imprinted on puppets when they are made. First law. All puppets must obey their creator's commands. Second law. A puppet may not harm. Third law. Can't harm humans. A puppet protects and, and serves humans and the city of fourth law. A puppet cannot lie. Well, it sounds I've like all of these things the are not... Engraved upon every puppet. Yeah, it sounds like those aren't really uh, working out anymore, huh? Let me just take a look around this place. Cool looking hotel. Hello. Unexpected guests are welcome. We don't insist on reservations. I am Antonia, and this is my hotel. Welcome. Oh, I knew from the moment we met the Georgia Petto's puppet. He might have a few loose screws, but Geppetto's skills are undiminished. A few loose screws, huh? It's a shame. He took off for Elysian Boulevard, and he never came back. Sounds like it's been a while. He'll turn up soon. We'll have to make a new coffin. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I was keeping this for him. It comes with a long story. But I think it's better off with you. Please find that old man. And do take care of yourself out there. Someone's memory show off clothes. So what all can I put here? So teleport to hotel or last stargazer used. That's nice. Ah. Repair tool rapidly charges fable thermite. No. Hmm. So we have our extra bag. Put the throwing things there. Put that there too? Sure. Cool. Oh yeah, Astrologer was fantastic for Elden Ring. Like, would recommend if you're considering it. It was very strong. And yeah, we got a PS5 at the beginning of the year. It's been really fun actually been being able to play those games now. Time. I'm assuming that's like an open later. Oh, yeah. I need a key. Huh. Alice in Wonderland Souls like, right? I wonder exactly how they do that, but I'm sure they'd come up with like a cool kind of twist You're on the You're here to see Master Geppetto, right? Come this way. I oh. heard about you from Geppetto, Hello. but to see you in person. Wow. Oh, a cat. I see a you cat. You should take this. Cat spotted. Geppetto left it with me. And Iron, thank you so much for the 400 bits. Darkridge playthrough, probably tomorrow. Thank you. What'd she give us? Legion arm, special equipment equipped on the left arm. Each Legion arm has its own combat ability. They can be modified into all sorts of forms and they can be made using the Vengini craft machine. So is, let me see. Can release a wire, can be strung around an enemy to drag it towards you or to move you toward it. Huh. Press and hold the legion button, legion arm button to track an enemy. Enables dodging after a hit and attack link. If you pull or wire trace an enemy and press and hold the legion arm button, it will trigger a link attack. Whoa. Oh, is this to train and all? This looks like training dummies. Yeah. Okay, nice. Good to know that that is there. Yes, it is Pinocchio Souls-like game. Exactly. Lies of P, all about L Pinocchio lying. Basically, the puppets have taken over. We gotta go find Geppetto now. Where's Geppetto? 
can purchase items from Polandina at the hotel. Is there something I should have purchased? I guess I just could have talked to her more. That's okay. We'll do that when we go back. I did play the demo. We didn't get much further than where we are right now. I didn't fully finish it. Evil. No, we're going to be super evil, don't worry. <laughs> Oh, hey, oh, let's oh. be more careful. Oh, ah, the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. Oh, I hate these guys. But don't be alarmed. My name is Gemini. We'll talk later when we're safe. Uh, okay. Stargazer, at least. I really need to use this. Okay, so this is how we can switch our legion arm. Ah. And we can teleport to another stargazer or talk with Gemini. I'm Gemini, your friendly puppet guide. Or friendly guide puppet? I don't know, one of those. I'm also a friend of Sophia's. Hmm. Last time I woke up, Sophia was there because... Because she woke me up. But I'm sure there are still other memories in there. Sorry. Must be the shock. Bear with me, and I'll do my best to guide you. Huh. I love the look of these shops. Like, look at this. The bakery. All the bookshelves in there. Wonderful details. It's running beautifully. Well optimized. I'm quite happy. Yes, don't wait for them to hit you. Or at least just make sure I actually carry. Um... Hi there, buddy. You seem to be missing your head. I'd lose that. Sort of blocked. Greetings by hello. Welcome everyone. So who's been playing this themselves? Enjoying it? Okay, ow. Continuing. Elysian Boulevard was a regular rich people row. You wanted fancy boutiques and shops. No place better. It seems but like it was cute. That was long ago. Oh. Before the puppet frenzy. Oh, zap. Don't touch that side. Never heard of it till now? Well, it is quite new. Um, but we played the demo... One day, a couple months back. And I was intrigued. Also plays a lot better, in my opinion, than the demo. They definitely polished some of the combat and like movement and feel of it. I like having a lot of stamina like this. It's quite nice. That was a good call. Star fragments cross dimensions to grant human wishes. If you wish for it desperately enough, oh dear. If you wish for it, then maybe you'll get enough time to read the tips. <laughs> oh no. A new frame, menu, equipment, defense part slots. Physical damage reduction weight, can absorb physical damage. Huh. It increases our weight a little bit. I think that's fine. How do we know, like, what the different percentages are. Like, do we slow roll or something at certain points? I'm not exactly sure. Up we go. What is this? 
this? A ladder. Oh. Oh, hi, buddy. different directions we can go here. That lets us go down here, which I'm assuming that was back where we came from, kind of? I don't really know. Let me check out over here. New Pinocchio movies were any of them any good? I think like one of them was good and one of them was not. It was the consensus. No, I'm supposed to stagger you. There we go. I'm just taking a little bit more damage than would be ideal for the amount of uh, healing that we have, but it's okay. If we just have like one more pull cell. We have this easy peasy. Okay, so where's this bringing me? So I see that we can go across there. Let me go over here first before I go inside there. Emergency protection? What is that? Temporarily protects death ergo when hit. Oh, that's nice. So you don't have to worry about losing your stuff. I just like to be thorough before we move on because I don't often come back and explore the old areas, you know? So slightly heavy, standard roll, normal, light roll, heavy, fat roll, okay. You can charge the last cell with damage. I mean, like, yeah, that can just be tough. Heal, why are we yelling? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to get a sneak attack there. I forget that's a thing. Ouch. Ouch! What was that? See, now I need a... Death number three. Uh-oh. Ooh. <laughs> Ouch. Let's try that again, shall we? This is our shortcut back up there. Is this the new Bloodborne? It, it has very similar vibes. If you liked Bloodborne, you will like this. We are like an hour into the game or so. Past the first boss. Looking for the next. The mob type is annoying. What, the one that just like skewered me? <laughs> oh, I stopped. Yeah, and that's why we have a lot of stamina, because we can just go. Stabby, 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 stab. And then they die. That's great. Okay, RIP, it's off by four. Here, let me let me adjust that. Hang on, that'll take two seconds. Let me. Which one is that? RIP. We can put that back to let me put that to four. Okay, it's at four now. Neat. Or wait, should it have been three? That was the third death. I think it should be three, right? Yeah, three. Okay, hang on. There we go. Okay, now it's three. 
Giving myself an extra death. Look at me. Oh dear. Um, alright, so there's that guy. I'm a little, little afraid here. Let's, let's try to... No! Yeah! Hey, I used the legion arm thing, and it worked. Let's try to use that again. Ooh, okay, so how... Oh! <laughs> I was just about to say, I'm like, I hope that I could pull. I was trying to pull him. He, the, the enemy was the one that was supposed to go down on the ground. Oh no, not me, not me. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think we need to teleport or anything. We just. We could go defeat him. Oh wait, let's level up first. Can I level here? No, we can't. So we need to go back. You can only travel to those you've activated. Hotel Crot. Let's go. Sure. Might as well go level up and go check out the hotel again. I know it wants to encourage you to go back to it a lot because that's where the story happens. I'll use my power to help you. So we have three levels, so let's do something like... What is this? Motivity. So is that going to be... What, what is the difference between some of these stats here? Like technique... Technique and motivity look like they're doing the same thing to my stats. That's not. That's the Legion stuff. So I do like the Legion arm. Technique is dexterity, motivity is strength. Ah, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Thank you. And Crimson, I'm doing pretty good. How about you? I'm liking this game so far tonight. So yeah, something like that. Do we need more capacity maybe? might help us. I don't know. Maybe next. Something like that sounds good to me. I don't know. So, I think we should just go back for now. Well, there was the one lady. Hang on. The lady here? She had the other legion arms, right? The sound of it alone. That craftsmanship comes only from the hands of Geppetto. You must be Wait, can something I the cat? else. You see it? A custom arm from Geppetto himself is quite... Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Eugenie from the Workshop Union. I know my way around weapons of all kinds. I'm sure Master Geppetto would agree. If any of your weapons need work, bring them to me. I know my way around... Upgrade weapon. Oh, so if you have a moonstone, Eugenie can help you upgrade a weapon's blade. Weapon's attack power will increase. Some blades can only be upgraded with a special moonstone. So we need one, looks like. Alter handle. So this is where we use some of those materials. A stargazer is a survival device used by the stalkers. It powers itself by accumulating and absorbing ergo spores in the air. The stalkers installed stargazers all across the city. Once they're recovered, we can put them to use. If you want to test your skills or yeah, training, training, don't look at me like that. that. Everyone hates <laughs> puppets. I know whose side you're on. <laughs> Oh, I mean, fair. Gotta earn the cat's trust. Cat's like, who are you, mysterious puppet person? <laughs> yeah, they, they nailed the cat behavior. Alright, 
We gotta find Geppetto before anything else is gonna happen here. Think this is where we're going? Yeah, the Pinocchio Souls-like game, exactly. And Ed, hello? Yeah, we just started this tonight. Just getting into it. Back check. Here's Ozzy, say hello. Looks like Dio left. He's not there anymore. So... Where to next? I guess we continue this way. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I love that ability. That is useful. Useful! This guy who was causing problems for me earlier. Time to take you out. Jeff? Okay, and we got something else to read. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> At least it wasn't us this time. <clears throat> uh, landmark Guide 2. The Alchemist Bridge is the bridge on Elysian Boulevard and the main way to Kratz City Hall. The Holy Ouroboros, the mark of the alchemists, is fittingly engraved into the building. This shows that the alchemists are not just a powerful, privileged class, but have also donated tremendous amounts of money across the city. Thanks to the thriving culture of philanthropy in Krat, you can find areas with names of prominent figures. It's like the city's motto, the citizens are the owners of the city. Is meowing somewhere. My goodness. The most widely known attraction is Rosa Isabel Street. It's named after the cultural sponsor, Lazy Lady Isabel Monad. But if you think about how the ladies married to the leader of the alchemist, Valen Valentinius, Valentinus, you'll think twice about who really is in control of Krat. The union of Krat's old families and the organization of alchemists is shown in this symbolic form. Given that the sacred Ouroboros mark is engraved upon City Hall as well, it's obvious who owns the city of Krat. Hey, good. What is that? Is that in the game? What is that? A good place to learn about Krat's beginning end and its essence. Three out of five. This guide was made with the support of the Vengini Company, but may not reflect the company's opinions. Noted. Five thousand dollars? What? For me? What? Strange. Can I turn myself in? Is that a butterfly? Why is the Butterfly ergo there? reacting like that? If you want to check it out, I can take point. Wait, where's the butterfly? There's a butterfly? Oh my goodness, Steve Beachy! Thank you so much for the $15 tip towards the new monitor! Thank you for that hype! I am so, so excited to get that. I, It's gonna be a very lovely upgrade for the stream, and we can get some HDR and stuff, and get some more, like, rich color and all. I'm just very excited. I just appreciate that a lot. Thank you! I hope it's a lovely evening, and I hope you like this game, too. We're also gonna play some more Baldur's Gate 3 tomorrow. I think we're gonna start a Dark Urge playthrough. I think we're gonna do it. I think we are, so. <laughs> what? What about... Ta who? Taylor Swift? Where? Okay, hang on. What? Butterfly. There's a butterfly. I can see that one. Am I supposed to hit it? Am I supposed to hit it? Oh, I am. What? I don't want to hurt the butterfly! Am I supposed to do that? Apparently. Okay, good. I was like, no, am I supposed to murder the butterfly? <laughs> yeah, Skyrim prepared me for this. Butterfly wings acquired. Uh-oh. Occasionally, a dimensional butterfly will appear in parts of Kratz. Monad's lamp can detect the butterfly, lighting up red to point out its location. When the character is near the hiding butterfly, it will appear. After a certain amount of time, the butterfly will disappear into another dimension. Kill it to get useful materials. Well, poor butterfly. 
The Moonstone was not from this world. However, it was the most optimal enhancement material. Well, happy we got it, at least. Sorry, Butterfly. Oh, dear. At least we get a weapon upgrade, though. Very true. Warning! Petrification disease quarantine zone. No trespassers. Everyone is a patient or a lunatic. Do not talk to them. Okay. Poor baby. Hello, lady. There's a, a, a person here. I remember we talked to her in the demo, but we did not, like, complete this quest. So let's see. <clears throat> Witchblade, thank you so very much for the 400 bits. I really hope you like the playthrough here. Thank you so much for the kind words, and I hope you have a great night as well. Appreciate it a lot. Oh, someone with this cat. This game needs a cat named Figaro. Taylor Swift plays Figaro. Oh, that's that's a new one. What? Oh, so Lucid, hello. Oh dear. I can't see a thing. For most people, this is their last stop. You are a good Samaritan for coming all the way here. May I ask you a favor? Yeah, she wants me to find a baby? My family took my baby from me and sent me here. They said it was for my own good, but it was heartless just the same. I'd love more context, but okay, I'll try to help. A baby must be with its mother. Please go to Crard City Hall and bring me my baby. I'll... Think about it, sure. Thank you so much, kind one. I can finally see my sweet Elena's face again. Please hurry. Heart scales spreading across my eyes before I lose my sight. She said the baby okay. was at City Hall. Should we check it out? So, does that mean we go teleport back to City Hall? Where we, is that where we started? Is that where we started from? I guess we'll see. Huh, what a trip. DBG, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Witchblade as well. Thank you both for being here and all of your support. Fantastic having you guys. Okay, ah! Here goes. Ooh, I tried to parry that, he's fast. Need stamina. Sure, might as well heal, I guess. Uh oh. That does not work apparently on him. know what timing that was. Oh, what is that? That's new. What? Oh, I actually did it that time, I think. I was just in time. Did I stagger him right there? Was he staggered? I don't know. I can't tell. Oh, now he can be. Oh, thank goodness. He was just about to do his big attack again. Nice. Yeah. We got a new weapon? What do we get? Police baton head and handle? What? Ah! You wanna surprise me? I'll surprise you, okay? Uh, so I see. An elevator. Does this open? Does this connect? This opens. Is that, uh, Alchemist Bridge? Oh, that's like a new area. Okay, hang on. Before we go over there, before we do that, this is what I was looking for, I think.
this connects me here. Huh. Hidden moonstone. Oh, that's cool. Oh no. Oh no. up on the roofs earlier and it looks like I could have climbed down and come through here. Oh, that's okay. I don't need to do that right now. All right, isn't that the bridge to the hall? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, what is this? Repair. Look at us. Repair person. <laughs> hey, Andrew, super welcome. Yeah, most of the weapons are very slow, so it seems like anything that we find that's gonna be fast is gonna be very good for us. Oh, hello. Why, hello. <laughs> I didn't know anyone was alive out here. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but I'm not a burglar. <laughs> I'm just crashing in an abandoned house for a while. Don't worry, I won't cause any trouble. We survivors need to look out for each other. Uh, for your information, I didn't steal this. Okay, well, thank you for clarifying. And then we're gonna go down this way. Neat. Is this command forever? What, Lazelle? I mean, yeah, it might as well be. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I tried to be all sneaky, and then failed to lock on entirely. I like my current technique of just keeping them stunlocked like that. It's, it's ideal, honestly. So this is where Geppetto should be. We're just trying to find him. Where is he at? All puppets will be destroyed. Let's go. All right. You know what caused the puppet frenzy, don't you? You're their maker, practically their father. You and the alchemist scheming together. Tell me the truth. What's your problem? I'm here for the old man. Get lost. Wait. Who are you? I know you. Mad donkey. Or more like I know what we you gotta fight. are. Let's go. You're the devil's puppet. You can't sneak past me. Oh, okay. Here we go. Are you a dream or a nightmare? Stop showing up already. Okay. Got him. Oh. Oh, look at that backstab. Oh, you can like backstab them like that? Like, wait, what? That's crazy. Are you a dream or a nightmare? Stop showing up already. Well, that's the way to do this fight. Are you kidding me? I just need to get behind it. I'm trying. Kill you both, then string you up on the bridge. Damn.
That's like a three-parter. I was not ready for that. I was not ready. Shoot, he's so close to being dead. He's so close. Yes. I demand it. That's true. First try? Now I feel bad for my comrade. We had like this much HP. <laughs> okay. Hey, Geppetto. We didn't make the- we did not make it past him on the demo, so, okay. Neat. Okay. I like the whole backstab thing too, that was neat. Finally. We meet. Okay, so wh what lore we got? It's a dream come true. Seeing you like this. I understand why some people despise me. I invented the puppets after all. I should take responsibility as their maker. But in order for me to do that, I need to take care of the puppets at City Hall. Won't you help me, son? Take this. You'll find it most useful. <sighs> oh, sweet. And an Enigma assembly tool. Okay, so we're gonna be crafting stuff, I think. Heal up, I'm, like dying. I want to hear all about your experiences. But now isn't a good time. Use the stalker's key to open the bridge door. Then get rid of the frenzied puppets that have seized City Hall. We'll catch up at Hotel Croc when you're done. Nice, okay. Snipe, thank you so much for the prime sub. Welcome to our witchy coven. I hope you enjoy the streams and community and all here. Hope you like this game too. And just thanks so much for supporting. Welcome, welcome. Geppetto is the tech billionaire of the world. Oh, no. I mean, yeah, he did invent quite a tech that ended up killing everyone, so, you know, hmm. Hmm. Yes, this is literally Pinocchio. Yep, totally based on Pinocchio. We got Jiminy, our cricket, and um, Geppetto, and some different things from the Pinocchio original story, which I don't, I'm not super familiar with. I'm like, I, I need to go brush up on my Pinocchio lore. Maybe I should. Yeah, also, ba um, Baldur's Gate 3 again tomorrow. Some more Dark Urge. We'll probably mix this in too, but, uh, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, you want a Legion Arm? The Legion Arms are kind of sweet. So, uh, where's our next Stargazer? I'm assuming I continue on. Do you have anything else to say? I want to hear. Use the little catch up. Yeah, catch up at Hotel Craft. Looks like a Stargazer is going to be right through here. Perfect. What happens if you kill Geppetto? Nothing good, I'm sure. I wonder if you even can. That's a great question, though. <laughs> I'm also very happy with how flawlessly this game is running. I have it on, like, the ultra textures with everything else on high settings. And we are getting a perfectly smooth 144 FPS while streaming, even. Like, it's... Quite nice. So, anyways. Give me just a sec, you guys. I will be right back and we're gonna. Oops. Oopsies. And we're gonna keep going with our adventures. I like the start so far. I'm intrigued. And we're gonna kind of keep going casually. Uh, I'll probably have these edited and everything put up on YouTube and all. Um, so, if you wanna follow along with any more progress or anything, definitely check out there too. Give me a, mo a minute, guys. I'll be right back. We're going to take a quick five-minute break, and we're going to keep going for a little bit more tonight. So if you guys are cool with some more of this, I'll probably just keep playing a little bit more. Give me a sec. Be here, be here. 